September is Hunger Action Month, and it's hard to believe that in this country, in this day and age, we have people going hungry, even in this community. We have people who don't necessarily know where their next meal will come from. But it doesn't have to be this way. Our next guests want to make sure people have access to nutritious and sustainable food sources. Here to tell us more and how are Reverend Kenneth Lane, we have Tina Badger, and Geraldine Trellieu. Welcome all of you to Thank the you. show. This is great. All right, so let's start with you, Reverend. Tell us a little bit about this effort to end hunger here at home and abroad. Well, first of all, the Crop Hunger Walk is an annual event held here in Roanoke to raise funds for local and world hunger. And so there's an impact here in the valley. We have our local agencies, Roanoke Community Gardens here and Roanoke Area Ministries, both of which uh, provide uh, nutrition and food. Uh, this October 8th walk uh, is under the umbrella of Church World Services. Okay. So we impact the local as well as places in our country and abroad. So this is more than just feeding the hungry, because we talked about mm -hmm. sustainable foods. It's right. kind of like the story, if you give a man a fish, he eats for a day, but mm -hmm. if you teach him how to fish, he will eat for a life exactly. time, right? Yes. So talk a little bit about the hunger crop walk and how this incorporates that philosophy. Well, you can hear more about the local agencies, but Church World Services not only remains in places of disaster, but also stay there to help sustain people, to teach them how to provide their own food and get access to clean water. Mm -hmm. So um, they're in places, East Texas and Florida, in the wake of these hurricanes, mm -hmm. and in Puerto Rico, yeah. not only for emergency and relief, but self-help projects later on. Right. Uh, Geraldine, how does Roanoke Area Ministries benefit from this walk? Well, we're one of the um, recipients of, of the proceeds this year. We serve over 35,000 meals a year uh, in our, our kitchen, which is staffed by mostly volunteers. We have over 815 volunteers that come in, prepare a hot meal every day for people that are homeless uh, or can't afford to, to get food. Um, we are a ministry that is encompassing of financial aid, job placement, but m these funds will go to help us to purchase healthy, nutritious food for people that need a healthy meal. Yes, and Tina, talk a little bit about the involvement of the Roanoke Community Gardens in this walk. Well, at uh, Roanoke Community Garden Association, we, we have uh, five community gardens around the city of Roanoke, typically in low income, low food access areas. And um, our plan with any of the proceeds that we get for this walk is we have one of our gardens that needs to be rebuilt. It's falling apart, it's in disrepair, and that's right next to the Ram House. Mm -hmm. So we thought it was a really good combination there. So we're going to rebuild that garden so those gardeners have a proper place to garden. And we've also got a couple of new gardens in the plans in Southeast, uh, which is a particularly low income area that needs access to the food. So our funds will help uh, promote education to teach people how to grow and cook the food that they grow and also to put those gardens in for our gardeners to That's use. That's great. Them. Okay, so how can people get involved? They can attend the walk? Well, glad you asked. Um, <laughs> We network through local churches and church organizations, but it's really open for any who'd like to, to join. And um, local churches get a recruiter who then uh, recruit people who are willing to walk, and those persons then get sponsors, and that's uh, how we get money donated for the walk for people who go. Okay. Last year we had between 200 to 250 walkers mm -hmm. with about 20 churches locally, but individuals can also um, join and get sponsors for this October 8th event. Wonderful. All right. So head to crophungerwalk.org yes. to learn more. Guys, yes. thank you so much for being here and telling us all about it. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. All right.